Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I want to show you how to connect a laptop to a projector. At Kettner Creative, we film hundreds of videos like this. If you find this video helpful and you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Now at Kettner Creative, we connect literally thousands of projectors to laptops every year. We put this video together to show some of the best practices and tips that we've seen to make the process as easy as possible. Now before you get started, make sure you have a laptop and a projector. This is an Epson projector. We love Epson projectors. We think they're the best rental projector for a lot of different reasons, but that's another video that we can put together. But just know that this method will work for any PC, laptop, and almost any projector. There will be a couple different little setting changes that you need to see. Before you get started, start with everything unplugged and powered down. If you haven't restart your laptop in a while, now is a great time to restart it. Typically, most of the issues that we see with connectivity are resolved when you restart your laptop. So make sure you do that first. Next, we will plug in the power cable for our projector. So oftentimes, if you rent from us, you'll get a projector. It'll be in a flight case, and you'll get a box of cable. So make sure you plug in the power cable right at the bottom. And then while we're doing everything else, we'll turn the projector on. So when you hit the power button here, you'll see that this lamp light goes from orange to green. Now that lets you know that it's warming up. It does take about a minute before you see something on the screen. Now for the laptop, there's a lot of different input types that you may have. Now that it's 2020, when this is being filmed, uh, pretty much everything is HDMI now. So it's a matter of converting to HDMI if your laptop doesn't have it natively. When you rent from us, you also get all the adapters you might need for your laptop. So if it's USB-C to HDMI, or if it's mini display port to HDMI, we also have these odd USB to HDMI and VGA, and we have the official ones from Mac, the multi-port adapters that go U HDMI. Uh, it's USB-C with Thunderbolt in it, and it goes to HDMI with older USB and another USB-C slot. So depending on what you need, Depending on your laptop, you might need an adapter. The laptop that we're showing today just has an HDMI output, so that keeps it nice and simple for the purposes of this video. So as you can see behind me now, the projector is fully warmed up, and we get this blue screen. So what I like to do is I like to connect the HDMI cable from the projector into the laptop. When you start with the projector, that I think of it this way, it loads the cable with signal, and then when you plug it into your laptop, your laptop will recognize it right away. Sometimes when you start on the laptop side, then connect it to your projector, the laptop won't realize it, and you'll have to unplug and replug in the HDMI cable. So as you can see here, we'll plug the HDMI cable into the HDMI slot, and then, since we did the projector first, we'll plug it in to the laptop. Now most laptops, if you have the latest version of Windows 10 and if you've done all, all your updates, should load up immediately. You can see it's done here. So if it doesn't load up immediately, the first thing to do is to check the setting on the projector. On the Epson projectors, there's an auto search function. It says source search. So we click the source search button. When we do that, you can see here that it will automatically run through all the inputs of the projector looking for the laptop. You can see here it found an HDMI input, and then it loads up there. So then we can exit out of the menu, and there you go. Now, that's the first thing I would check. Most of the time, that will resolve any issues you have. If it still isn't working, what we do is we hit the Windows key and P. So that stands for Windows Projector. And what you see here is this little flyout comes out. And it says PC screen only, duplicate, extend, second screen only. So what we want here is we either want to duplicate what's on the laptop, so show the same thing, or we can do extended display. 95% of the time, you want to select duplicate. So that's what loaded up by default. So we're going to select that now. You can hit enter. Great. 
So that's how you get video onto the projector. The next thing that people mostly struggle with is sound. Where do you, are you playing any video files that you need sound? By default, when you connect your laptop to a projector, your laptop thinks that your projector is a TV. So if your projector was a TV, you would want the sound to come out of the speakers on the TV. So by default, anytime you play a video on your laptop, if you plug in an HDMI cable, it will try to put the sound out through the speaker on the projector. So for a small meeting, just make sure that you turn up the volume on your projector using the included remote when you rent from a company like us. If you have a larger PA system or if you're in a larger ballroom, you have two options. One, you can take audio from the headphone jack of the projector and connect that to your sound system. Now, that's the easiest for a couple reasons. Every time that you unplug and replug in the HDMI cable, the HDMI cable is going to retake the audio back. So it's going to resend audio to the projector. So if you're switching out laptops all day at your meeting, it's the best solution to take audio out from the projector into your sound system. Also, oftentimes wherever your projector is, your projector will be on an AV cart or a small table. Usually your audio mixer is right beside the projector and sometimes the laptop is 20 feet away at the podium or something like that. So this keeps all your control items close together. So if it was me, I would take the headphone jack out of the projector into your audio mixer and then run to your speakers from there. Now sometimes you may need to take audio out of the laptop. So in a bigger ballroom where you have all the laptops controlled by an AV team like us, all the, all the laptops will be far away from the projectors and it makes more sense to take sound out through the headphone jack of the laptop. So in this case, what you need to do is you need to take your audio cable, plug it into the headphone jack of your laptop, and then you'll be set to take sound out. On some laptops, you'll get a pop-up asking you, what do you want to do about the audio? Do you want to send it out through the HDMI jack, or do you want to send it out through the headphone jack? If you don't get that pop-up, you're going to need to go into the bottom right. Let's just find the mouse here. You're going to need to right-click your sound settings, collect, or select Open Sound Settings, and this dialog box will come up, and you'll say, choose your output device. And here, you can see that you can select either the projector for sound or the built-in sound on the laptop, and you would select that you want the built-in sound on the laptop. So that's the biggest issue. So just recap everything that we've gone over here. Start with everything turned off and powered up and unplugged. Plug everything in, turn it all on. Once it's all on and fully set up and ready, start with the HDMI cable from the projector and connect it to your laptop. If you want sound, if you have video content, we recommend either turning up the speaker on the projector if it's a small meeting or taking sound out of the projector if the audio console is close to it or taking sound out of the laptop if the laptop is closer to the audio console. It really depends mostly on proximity. We hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe or leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.